be? Very fresh. 9th of December, 2018. I just would love to share with you a couple of very interesting things that just jump out at me um, and they tie back into the 7th. And, you know, there was just a ton of things pointing to December 7th. There was no way around it. The 311 pattern and all that, and it was just out of the out of the park crazy um and it came and it went and you know i don't think much about these things because i know that the way i'm shown things i i can never fully know i can never fully put like any kind of definitive explanation on what it is that i'm seeing but i know it's spirit given and so you know praise god you know what i mean but this is very interesting because on the 6th, at 1.42 a.m., okay, I'll, I'll link all these articles, right? We had this uh, accident out in Japan, right, with the C-130 and the F-A-18. Okay, this, this happened, they give us all the times, 1.42 a.m. local. Um, but this was on the 6th, okay? And then came the 7th, and nothing seemingly happened. And then, yes, this morning, I see... Uh, or this was yesterday, I saw this, um, six people were trampled to death in a nightclub. And this is a, was just after midnight on the 8th, but the event was scheduled for the 7th, okay? Now, just this is just the way my mind works. So we had this on the 6th, where uh, it appears that six Marines have died here. Uh, let's pray for all their families and... They still may find these guys, so pray for them. But as it stands, we're looking at six dead from this incident here with the KC-130. The 11, literally, a K-11-C-3, 11 C 3 11 3 130. I mean, it goes on and on, you guys, okay? So six dead on the 6th with this incident, 6, the number man, right? And then we have six dead on this incident on the 8th, okay, in Italy. And the reason I say in Italy, because it's interesting, because the 8th, when this happened, brand new, early in the morning on the 8th, that is the day that the, uh, you know, Orthodox Christians, the Roman Catholics in particular, celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which I am not going to go into this right now, because it's very deep, and I, I hope to really get into this sometime. Um, but for now, I'm just showing you that this occurred just as this feast was beginning. Okay, that is something to just think about, right? So we had this on the 8th and this on the 6th. Six dead. Six dead. This one here, I'm looking at, and I see that it is Attack Squadron 242, okay? And this just pops into my mind, you guys. This is how this works. We've been talking about Bush for a few days now. And I, I saw this image when it came out, when he died, talking about Pearl Harbor in World War II and this airplane behind them, X-2. Well, X is the 24th letter of the alphabet. So you could be looking at a 242, Squadron 242 right? I mean, it goes on even beyond that. It's unbelievable. But this is the spiritual war that we're able to understand and, and wrap our minds around and be at peace with it, okay? Because we have Christ, and that is the only thing that allows you to really have peace in this world. I mean, it's just the way it is, you guys. Jesus is just unbelievable, okay? So, you have the seventh sandwiched in between these two incidents, right? And on the eighth, we have the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. However, on the seventh itself, okay, I mean, I could go down so many roads, you guys, it's just amazing. But on the seventh itself, the Pope was, uh, you know, squawking about their new Christmas tree at 9.30 a.m., talking about their 65 foot christmas tree their festive spruce okay and he's telling the people how the christmas tree with its lights reminds us that jesus is the light of the world now 
This is the way that emotions are twisted with God's word to get people to follow a lie, okay? Now, don't forget, this is December 7th. He's squawking about his tree, and they're going to have, for the first time ever, a sand nativity scene. Think about that. The sands of the sea. Um, I mean, there are so many roads we could go down with this, okay? But, of course, this all plays into this ongoing, just incredible story we're watching unfold, okay? But there's a lot of ritual to it and a lot of spiritual, in-the-dark type stuff that God allows us to pull out of there and understand, you know, what the enemy is doing. But it's amazing stuff. It's just so mind-boggling. So we have all this going on between the 6th and the 8th with the 7th. And to top this all off, right, as these C-130s are crashing into the sea, Trump is holding Hanukkah parties at the White House. Okay? Now just just get a load of this. It, it, this article is interesting. I will link all this stuff. Trump praises Israel as your country to it. Okay? And, it, and the article itself brings into question the loyalty of these dual citizens, particularly the Israelis. However, if you read the article, one of the main tenets is to squash out anti-Semitism. So, what that means is it's now hate speech. If you come out to speak anything about people like Sheldon Adelson, the multi-gajillionaire Israeli-American, and who their loyalty really is to, and I don't care if his loyalty is to Israel or United States. I want to know what God his loyalty is to. That's what I want to know. Because I go by fruit. That's all. And, you know, this kind of talk that I'm talking to you will be the future hate speech. That will be considered anti-Semitism. Okay? But don't worry. The Pope's got it all under control. And he's going to just preach their coexist and the love Jesus, and everybody's going to sing Kumbaya. And the Jews are all going to just love the world and be the light of the world, but you have to follow their Noahide laws, or you'll be beheaded. <laughs> it's true, I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, you need Jesus. The only way you're going to make sense out of any of this chaos that's about to unfold exponentially is Jesus Christ. Just stick to that. Always cling to that. That's your anchor. That's your door. That's your way out. Is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Everything else will just be given to you. And if you are so inclined to share it, please do. Because that's what we do. And together we're showing the world that God is at work here. And what we see manifesting in the world cannot be denied, but people will. But there will come a day where there will be no denying any of it. None of it. Okay? And, and it's real funny in this article as well. Okay? I know I keep going on. Sorry. They talk about the Tree of Life shooting. Okay? The 11 Jews shot at the Tree of Life synagogue. And it's just so ironic, you know, that the actual Tree of Life, the Kabbalah, okay, there are 10 attributes and 11 is the crown. Eleven. Eleven Jews killed. It's all mockery. This is just my opinion. And it's leading up to that climax, to that point. And no one knows when that'll be. So you got to be just in Christ all the time, every day. Okay, so that's what we do. And it's weird because that incident, you know, we got the 10th coming up where we're going to see the Sanhedrin doing their stuff. And all of these things are relevant. Every one of these are relevant. And the 10th and the shooting at the synagogue was on October 27th, which just, you know, happens to be 44 days before the 10th. Exactly. And there's our 113 again. And there's our 62. If we look at this X as a 6, in numerology, I know it can be confusing. However, this is the world. It's confusing. The word of God is not confusing. So consult it. <laughs> but this is all just the same stuff, all coming together. 
all just doing what it does. 44 days. That's very interesting. Very interesting. So, heads up. Keep looking up, as always. Keep prayed up. Number one, seeking Jesus. And peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 